Here we go. Again, and that is Beaumont Bacon. I'm Joni Bacon. This is The Joni Show. We're going to have so much fun. This is so funny. We talk about what's trending at the top of the show. We are both moms. Every, every week. Every week we talk about what's trending. And um, this is show six. All right. How exciting. I know. And the big eyelashes are very popular. And I thought there was a, a spider, actually. <laughs> I thought there was a spider in front of me. And it these is. are all glittery. Oh, these are for fancy times. Uh, anyway, this is your show. Joni Fagan, Beaumont Bacon. I'm going to reintroduce myself in the show. Hi. Hi. Uh, I, I was thrown off just a little bit there because Beaumont, you... I'm trending. It was the wind coming off your eyelashes <laughs> that distracted me for a second here. <laughs> well, you want me to block them? Wow, you are so Kardashian. I am. Or should I say Carlashian? Carlashian. <laughs> you are fabulous. <laughs> oh my gosh, those are great. Are they are they permanent or what's that happening? I, yep, that I grew these just for the show last <gasps> night. She is so committed and that's why we stick together like glue and talk about glue is that is that sticky there oh, what huh? <laughs> you can't wear them on a rainy day no. oh yeah, my there's gosh there's a high wind or uh, earthquake I'm, I'm gonna fall to pieces it all I, this will all go away really oh some butterflies da, 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 da. you know what else is trending is the big glasses and i'm so excited because finally being sort of nerdy looking is in fashion so i'm i'm excited about that because i've always kind of been in fashion apparently with the glasses oh no now do those actually act like a windshield wiper on your glasses what <laughs> Can you, can you see? Are they magnified? They're something. I don't uh, want to get bigger, for God's sakes. <laughs> Maybe you could wear them backwards. It's like a fish ball. They're so slimming. Oh, and black, yeah. which is also slimming. That's yeah. nice. But I wonder, did the, this is why I don't put on the big, you know, eyelashes. I brought different samples here and have never taken them out of the box. Because I'm afraid they're going to hit my glasses. But... Uh, I don't know. And then scratch them up. And scratch them up mm -hmm. because the big glasses are trending. So I guess I could wear fake without lenses. I can't even you put these on. glasses on top of glasses. No, now that's I know. Dirty. How about eyelashes on top of the glass frame? Well, you know, they do that on cars. They put the eyelashes on the punch buggies. Have you oh, seen that? Oh, yeah, yet? I have seen that. That's darn cute. Along with the brassiers on the cars. Oh, wow. And I think they do need a little lift. Yes, they, they do. Especially after a sag, certain age. The bumpers start sagging a wee bit. No one wants a saggy grill. No. No, that would that be terrible. That chassis needs to really? be rotated. Oh, my gosh. There's lots of things going on. So we got the eyelashes are trending. we got the big glasses. Very nice. I'm finally in fashion. Thank you for making the commitment. Oh, my pleasure. Are those actually prescription? Because I'm afraid. What? <laughs> You know, we could burn bugs later on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Which is would be a terrible thing because it is April, which is Earth Month, so we don't want to kill nature or anything like that, which reminds me, is it Avida or Avida? Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How do you? Uh, I it's think it's Avida. whatever you want it to be. They are doing something fantastic. It's a, it's a program called Light the Way, and if you buy these soy candles, they will donate money to Madagascar where people have to hike miles and miles for fresh water. I think here in the States and in a few other countries, we take it for granted that we have fresh water. Other people, not so much. I thought you were going to say that they hike miles and miles for those candles. For the candles. For That's the Avita, how... A Vita candle. Oh, I can totally see why. Yeah. I, I can see why. But they cook with that. Is that the Alps? No problem. Candles on the other side. <laughs> they cook with it? Yes. Oh, they, they could. It's, a, it's like a little Bunsen. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Oh. How's that? Thank you. That's Jansen giving us signals close, Yay, closer to the microphone. And I'm way close because I'm loud. That's all there is to it. Okay, what else is happening? So definitely check into this. It's lighttheway.org, and uh, they supply money. You know, we have a lot of good things for Earth Month coming up. Whole Foods will be here. I just want you to know that I had a little spa a couple days. I went to the Oaks in Ojai. I went Love hiking. It. This wonderful gal, Sheila Clough, oh my gosh, she's coming on the show in a few weeks. Oh, good. As is Whole Foods, which I could not be happier. Good. As is the Center Salon, which sells the candles. So I don't even have to be here. Neither That's do you. Right. We, we can take a few days off. They're just all coming in. I'm so excited. This is like the home shopping network for you that you've got the, you candle, know, come the to the, book. And yeah, the phone in five. now for your flashy <laughs> eyelashes. Beaumont is modeling them. And if you would speak. like the model to come with the eyelashes, we can talk about that as well. <laughs> no problem, Beaumont. But there's only one. There's only one. Trust me on that. 
And yeah, how was your weekend and your Easter? It was very busy, very lovely. Good. Uh, the Easter bunny came, Aww. and we hid eggs, and Aww. very earthy, and dyed it. And I have a question about that. Did you actually make the eggs? Did you do hard-boiled eggs? Because I have a story. You mean, did I lay them? No, no, no. Did you not make the eggs? But hey, you need to rephrase I could see, that. <laughs> I could see how you'd go there. <laughs> I have a few left, even at my age. <laughs> I'll just plop some out. Get the glasses. Where is my child? <laughs> there we go. Here, chicka, I'm chicka. Gonna... chicka. <laughs> then I had to sit on them. Oh, my oh. gosh. I don't, do you have to, oh, I guess to have to, oh, my gosh, you're making me laugh so hard. <laughs> well, what happened, I have to tell you this story. Like, a year ago, I learned you cannot hard boil the eggs and put them on your front lawn in some areas. I'll just say that in some areas, because... We did this. We hard boiled the eggs. We tie dyed them. There was like art going on. All the kids got together and we put them on the front lawn. And we went back in the house. We were going to organize all the little kids for the Easter egg hunt. And these giant crows came. And it was like a scene from a Hitchcock movie. Whoa! And they were just pecking them away and took them away and they were fighting over them. The kids were in the window. Blah! <laughs> no, he's super T- Totally mortified. <laughs> there was like one little, you know, pick yolk. egg. Yeah, there was like one little yolk. All the kids, boom. <laughs> It's mine. It's mine. It was so frightening. So now we do the, um, it's sort of espionage. We do, we do the fake eggs with the plastic and everything else. And happy Passover and all the holidays that are happening in the last in week. In the spring. In the spring. And guess what's coming up? Tax season has come no, upon us. Not this year. Not this, not this year. year. Not so much? Not don't, so much. Don't say that on the microphone. Oh, no. ixnay on the axe tank. <laughs> well, considering we have to pay every quarter, we oh. put in quarterly. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you actually have to pay. What? No, that's okay. <laughs> Who invented that? What? I am appalled. Oh, we have a great tax expert. But here's the deal. The tax experts and the accountants are very busy this time of year. So we have a representative from the family. She sent her daughter along. And we're going to talk to her right after this break, okay. which is awesome. Look at me with my, I'm like half done here. What's happening? Do you need help? I do need I'm help. Here. <laughs> I, I, I think it's safe to say we're on a tight budget and there's no wardrobe person on our staff because I'm coming apart at the seams. Your bra strap is hanging down. Oh, God. Oh, just like on my car. That's right. <laughs> anyway, we will be right back. It's the Joni Show. Please stay tuned. It's gocastnetwork.com. And uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Back with our tax experts and many more exciting guests. You're listening to the GoCast Network. Buckstar here. Greg Sites, whatever my name is. Greg Buckstar Sites, CEO of GoCast Network. And I'm Gary Garver, formerly of... Oh, I don't even want to mention that asshole's name. Uh, from the GoCast Network, program director of the GoCast Network. Weren't you on Journey? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Sammy Hagar, they say. Sammy Hagar. <laughs> and you know what? We got some sick new technology. You can check us out with Viddy. What the, what, what the hell's Viddy, Greg? I have no idea what that is. Viddy is Instagram, Twitter combined for a great 15-second video experience where you'll see awesome clips and fun stuff. Wow, I can't wait to check that out. Where do we go? Viddy. Dot com? I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey guys, this is Danny Trejo, and when I'm in Huntington Beach, I go to my favorite restaurant, the second floor. The second floor has my favorite food, and man, you have to see their colossal burger. You need a damn much it just to cut them. And they were just voted the best fusion art restaurant. Tattoo art from some of the biggest names like Jack Rudy and Rick Walters. Every Thursday night, art shows featuring legends to local artists come in. And you can meet them in person. You can buy the art right off the walls. And all sales go right to the artist. After 10 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, well-known DJs spinning an eclectic mix of music. And you got to check out their late-night menu. Go visit them on the web. Check out their great menu, upcoming art shows, and your favorite DJ. Located at 126 Main Street, downtown Huntington Beach. Second floor. I'll see you there. Hey, this is Dangerous Dick. That's Derek Carter. Check out our podcast here on the GoCast Network. Over 185 shows so far, and we're kicking ass. Wow. I like my women like I like my... Basketball. Bouncing around and past around by black dudes. I don't know. (laughs) Check us out every week here on the GoCast Network, the Dick and Darren comedy podcast. We're back on the GoCast Network. Wow, that's exciting. Something exciting's happening. Oh, 
Darth Vader's going to come through any minute I know. Minute now. It's these nerdy glasses. They're so attractive. We're attracting all sorts of extraterrestrials, apparently, or some space people. Welcome back to the Joni Show. That's Beaumont Bacon, my sidekick. Hello. Ow. And I'm Joni Fagan, and we're here to have a great time. We're just talking about what's trending. Beaumont's got the flashy uh, eyelashes on and the big nerdy glasses. I'm already a nerd, so I don't really have to go there. But I did bring these. We have a very special guest in lieu of uh, tax season, the impending April 15th date coming up. In lieu of it, meaning we're not going to pay you? Uh, uh, I didn't hear that. Uh, speaking <laughs> to my lapel. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, we're, we're excited. We're going to get very specific and informative tax tips so that you all can be prepared for April 15th. However, the accountants are so busy this time of year, they've sent a representative. Uh, the accountant's daughter is here, <laughs> Lindsay. Welcome. Hello. It's Hi, Lindsay, Lindsay Lewis, everybody. Hello. Hi. Did you bring you, did you bring your special glasses today or is it too impossible with the headphones? And I there's did. Jansen going to help you out. Okay. That's Jansen. <laughs> we're raising him. We okay. just adopted him. Just like we're adopting you now. There. We let him out of the kennel. What? what? <laughs> okay. It's on go. the job training here at the okay. Jody show. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. And how old are we today? I'm, not not me, you. I'm yeah. 12. 12, and you're representing your mom, who's an accountant, yes. who's going to give us tax tips through you today. Yes. And are there any specific things that, you know something, I'm going to get my number two pencil. Okay. I am, <laughs> at, I'm going to take notes. Beaumont, I can, I can, uh, you better call I'll email this me. to you no, later right. on. Okay. We are just here to listen to you tell us what's okay. happening. So, um, here's a couple do's and don'ts that you need for taxes. Okay. So, first, you, if you have a boss, you need to give your accountant some W-2s. And you also, if you work for yourself, you need to give them a 1099. Oh, that is good. Now, if any other income, like interest on savings, dividends on investments, and money earned if you rent out a house. So, oh. now, if you have a house, if... You'll need a mortgage interest, property tax, and energy-saving improvements. That's special air conditioning, special heaters, special windows, solar panels, stuff like that. Okay. Can we get a tax deduction if we have those? I think so. Okay, that's <laughs> what I wanted to know. <laughs> now, you'll also need a car registration and employment expenses. Oh, <laughs> Okay. So you're going to have to make sure you have the full name and social security number of all your dividends okay. and all your dependents. I want to make sure I can see my list, so I'm going to put two pairs of glasses on. Actually, no, I'm not going to. But okay. All right. Oh, okay. I got it. Keep going. You're doing great. Oh, my gosh. It's so in. This is good stuff. This is great stuff. I know. Thank you. So you'll also need medical expenses, and that's just not pharmacy and doctor stuff. It's over-the-counter medicine, like contact lenses, glasses, stuff like that, and cough drops, Tylenol, things like that. And that's a big one people miss, so. Thank you. I would have missed that for sure. Yeah, and you can deduct <coughs> that. <laughs> deduction. <Okay>. Deduction. <laughs> okay. okay, so here are a couple of don'ts, Ooh. and this is a big one. Um, don't lie about anything because, like, my mom finds. Why about are you looking at me? What? Why? Why she? Why she? <laughs> Ms. <Yeah>. Lewis. <laughs> okay, go on. Look at like, my mom. my mom finds out about when I lie about something. <gasps> the IRS will be like your mom, so they'll find out about. <laughs> and they're stricter than. Mom and they is. give long timeouts yeah. <laughs> behind bars. Yeah. <laughs> very, very strict. Okay, three. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't call your pet a dependent because they're not human. What? So. What? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Erase it, erase it. What? But they speak, sort of. Okay, go on. Sort of. <laughs> You're right. The veterinarian, I know they're doctors, but they're not counting. I mean, they don't work on humans, so. But what if we go to a veterinarian? You go to a vet? Yes. That's, she's barky. I, she, <laughs> she has How do you the think worms. I was, I was neutered. So. Yeah, so she does go to a vet. So you wouldn't need to. Yeah. She could write it off because she goes to a vet. That's right. <laughs> and they take me for little walks and. Ms. Lewis has an agenda. Let's focus. <laughs> okay, and you don't want to deduct dance classes or horseback riding, but because oh. they're not daycare. But if you do have a baby or an infant or a toddler and you do do daycare, uh -huh. that's deductible. So you need all their information. But not oh. the horseback riding or mm -mm. the bicycle riding can't be deducted. No, it's I horseback not. ride for medicinal purposes. Is that... Yeah, I don't know what that with, means. With a cough drop, <laughs> and while it, <laughs> it helps me with the, the coughing and the trotting, that's, that's it's, right. it's a program that I'm on. It's rhythm. Yeah. Okay. No. So no, like extracurricular, like sports. No. Mm -mm. Like I I play softball. I think it's for my health. 
but not a tax rate. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, Ms. Lewis, carry now, on. Now, the gardener and the pool boy are not deductible either oh. if they don't oh work my. for your rental. <laughs> well, you don't know my gardener or my pool boy. <laughs> she has them for medicinal purposes. I have that. It's medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't even have a pool. <laughs> so weird. I call my big old bathtub a pool. Wow, it has to be right. cleaned and monitored. <laughs> now focus, Miss Bacon. Yes, Miss Lewis. What else? <laughs> okay, so to be serious for a moment, oh, oh. be sure your accountant is real because it oh. could be criminal <gasps> that's trying to steal your identity. And it, there's a lot of criminals this Meaning time the of accountant year. could steal your... Oh, that is giving them all your information. Uh-huh. That's so. true. So if some guy comes knocking to the door, hey, I'm an accountant, give me your information, I'll do your taxes. Probably not so good. No. No. And he okay. also wants to clean your So you your want to pool. check references, yeah. check reference, and he wants to clean your pool that you don't have. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Want to go horseback riding? Hmm. Um, <laughs> the uh, the <laughs> reference... <laughs> Re- references, references are good, yeah, they and are. like a license or some sort of yeah. certification or something like that. Shots. That's so good. you're giving all your personal Shots. information out. So be yeah. sure. And so every year the IRS gives out a list of the dirty dozen. <gasps> so here's a few. Okay. So there's a weird thing called phishing. It's when it looks like it's an email from the government, but it's a scam instead, and the. The, the government never does this, so <gasps> they never. So send they would out not emails. send an email. So no. if, if you get something like that, that's not the real thing. It's not. Oh my gosh! Okay. Even if it says .gov. .gov. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you don't want to reply to this email, and you want to forward it to the IRS at phishing, and that's P H I S H I N G at irs.gov. Okay, great. And we'll have that on the website as well, so you can get that. That's great information. Okay, go on. And you might see some flyers around town saying free money. (gasps) FYI, there's no free money. I didn't didn't put those up. But it grows on trees. I have an alibi. I have an alibi. No, I'm just kidding. Really? Free money? There's no free money? No, because my mom taught me two things. One, again, there's no free money. And two, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So. Oh my gosh. I have a question though. If someone steals your identity, do they get your bad credit? Maybe. I don't or know. Not that I might know a friend. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. No one personal. It just dawned on me like, hey, the upside. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Now, if you do donations, you got to make sure that the, the charity's cr- real because you might just be throwing money to a criminal and that's really bad. Wow. You got to stay alert. Well, I've been giving coffee. money to myself. I'm a charity. Yo, so. That's nice. <laughs> it's nice. That's nice. It's nice. That's right. Bacon.org. <laughs> okay. So okay. there's a, something really important i got to tell you, everybody. We are so ready. So it's a very stressful time for accountants, so you have to bring them lots, and I mean lots of chocolate. <gasps> oh, that's good to know. Is that deductible? That was number three on the important list of your, your mom, the accountant, put on there. Yeah. Is it dark chocolate? Milk yes, chocolate? Yes, dark chocolate. Yes, dark chocolate. It's we, healthy. That's right. It is healthy. Mm-hmm. I eat that. Is that a tox write-off? Because it's healthy. It's like medicine, practically. Maybe. Well, let's check into that. And I have it with almonds, so it's practically like eating a salad. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know. That's a so a salad. chocolate. Write that down for your accountant. I, I, I have. Nobody it. wants a grumpy accountant. No. <laughs> no. Wow, that is fantastic. Is there anything else on your list? You came so un- completely informed prepared. and prepared. I am so impressed. It was effortless for you. And you have your own career. Are you saving away for your own career? Or yes, I am. Of course you are. <laughs> yes, like she's. And here what's to... your social security number? And yeah, how yeah. much do you have saved up? What's uh, your bank? Yeah, I'm going to send you an email later about. That's right. Yeah. And here's some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ha- you are an actor. I it, am. Th- oh, that's great, Lindsay Lewis. And do you have a website yet, or any kind of? Not a- yet. No, because no, because that would be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to your mom about that. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go through corporate <laughs> before I ask you any more questions. Yeah. But you're very talented. That was excellent information, and Thank we're so you. happy that you came on the show. Thank you. Are those Thank prescription, you. by the way? I don't think so, but these are not deductible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we got that cleared up. Does your mom perhaps have a website? That, uh, yes, oh. she has an email. Okay, and so it's, she's an excellent it's accountant. It's really easy. Will it's work for chocolate. That's <laughs> dot com. <laughs> dot com. Anyway, it's go ahead. Sue at sueroth.com. S U E 
R O T H. Yes. As in a Roth IRA. I could not be more informed, and thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, sure. That's great. The Joni Show, Lindsay Lewis. (laughs) Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. (laughs) You're listening to the GoCast Network. Hey guys, this is Danny Trejo, and when I'm in Huntington Beach, I go to my favorite restaurant, the second floor. The second floor has my favorite food, and man, you have to see their colossal burger. You need a damn machete just to cut them. And they were just voted the best fusion art restaurant, tattoo art from some of the biggest names like Jack Rudy and Rick Walters. Every Thursday night, art shows featuring legends to local artists come in, and you can meet them in person. You can buy the art right off the walls, and all sales go right to the artist. After 10 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, well-known DJs spinning an eclectic mix of music, and you've got to check out their late-night menu. Go visit them on the web. Check out their great menu, upcoming art shows, and your favorite DJ. Located at 126 Main Street, downtown Huntington Beach. Second floor. I'll see you there. Greg Buckstar Sides here for the GoCast Network. I'm Gary Garver, formerly of the Howard Stern Show, and I love the GoCast Network, Greg. It's awesome. I love the GoCast Network, too, and you know what I love about it is the partnerships we have, like with Ustream. I dig Ustream. Me, too. What a great place to watch live content like we do 30 shows a week live. Yeah, we're kicking ass here at the GoCast Network, and how can people check out our shows on Ustream? Well, what they can do is they can go to GoCastNetwork.com, click on the little live preview, boom. It opens right up. You're watching on GoCast and bonuses to Ustream because guess what? It's their little thing. We got some great shows here. We do. Check us out. GoCast Network. GoCast Network. Hey, this is Dangerous Dick. That's Darren Carter. Check out our podcast here on the GoCast Network. Over 185 shows so far, and we're kicking ass. Wow. I like my women like I like my... Basketball. Bouncing around and passed around by black dudes. I don't know. (laughs) Check us out every week here on the GoCast Network, the Dick and Darren comedy podcast. We're back on the GoCast Network. I need somebody, help, not just anybody, help, you know I need someone, help. When, when I was young, was so much younger than today. I'm sorry, I was so into the, the music, and I do need help. <laughs> Welcome back to the Joni Show, Beaumont Fagan, Joni Fagan, here we are. We just had Lindsay Lewis on with tax tips, so, oh my gosh, watch it later if you didn't get a chance to watch it live. It was extremely informative. She is the daughter of an accountant who was too busy to be here because it's tax season. Twelve. She was amazing. Was that fun? It was very fun. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> now, I have to redo my taxes now. Oh, you have to start all yes, over again? Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, and the emailing with the fishing and the, oh, who knew? She had the... What was the it called? The inside scoop. The inside scoop. Mm-hmm. Things heads up and free money, not so free. Mm-mm. <laughs> heads up. Well, we have a very special guest on right now. <gasps> she is Who, a facil- Miss Joni? Who? Who will it be? Who will it be? <laughs> Who's next? I'm going to wait. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's uh, Maxine Ryan. No. Yes, facilitator of self-healing and self-restoring, which we all need. And we are so happy to have you here, Maxine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. In. How did this all begin for you? How did you know that you had this gift, really, an epiphany? Or No, I was seriously injured Oh. in January 89, and I injured my spine, and I had severe... Uh, like you <sighs> couldn't... The nerve pain. Right, right. Paralysis? No, just no. severe nerve pain. Pain. Oh, wow. And I did everything in Western medicine. Nothing helped. So... Uh, it took me 12 years of this suffering. I finally went in my living room and I said, okay, God, mm. my way is not working. Mm. So whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Surrender? Yeah. A month later, I got this gift. Oh. <gasps> I had just turned 60. Wow. So life begins at 60 or any age where you find yourself in this. Wow. A you were open new, and ready. Mm-hmm. Open but and I ready. didn't know. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything about this mysticism and spirituality. I had never read anything. 
What were the first like signs like that you just felt like you'd gone to a different place and you were more open to it and everything? No, um, someone no sent me to a lady that oh. did uh, <clears throat> neuro linguistic kinesiology and reprogramming. And one day she told me she was having a rebirthing class, and I said, "Well, should I do this?" And she said, "Honey, you need everything you can get." Wow. So I paid her a hundred dollars, and the next day I came with my pillow and blanket with all the other people. And she taught us a breathing technique and said to lay down and do this breathing. And she put on the music and she started walking around singing, saying, breathe in love, breathe in love. Well, I started laughing because I hadn't been exposed to any of this. So I said, you know, you're a college graduate and you're laying on the floor breathing in love. How did you get here? <laughs> And I laughed the whole time, but I did what she said. We broke for lunch, we came back, and again, she says, breathe in love. I start laughing again. And all of a sudden, it was like a heavy weight was over my abdomen. Wow. So I thought she put something on me, and I looked, and nothing's there. Hmm. And I'm going nuts, and then all of a sudden, my hands start to levitate. And they come up, and I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at that. And when it quit, she came running up to me saying, um, great things are going to happen to you, great things. And I said, what? She said, I don't know, but keep my phone number handy. Wow. I said, well, what do I do now? She said, you meditate every day. Mm -hmm. I went home, and I laid in the <laughs> recliner, and I said, okay. She said, meditate, and how do you do this? I had never meditated. She said, well, you turn on the chakras. So I said, okay, turn on the first chakra, turn on the second chakra, and I'm doing this, and I get to the seventh, and all of a sudden my arms just fly out, and they're doing all these gyrations. And I'm watching, and I don't know what's happening, but I feel good. And we, when it quit, I felt a bit better. So I said I could do this. Wow. And then mm -hmm. a couple of weeks later, my son comes over, and he's walking real funny, and he said, I said, what's wrong with you? He said, oh, my back is killing me. I can't wait to go home. I said, come on, I'll fix your back. I don't know where that came from. Took him in the kitchen. I put my hand right behind his low back for about a minute and a half. And I said, okay. And again, I'm laughing. And That's interesting. he said, I said, okay, see what happened. And he could touch the floor. His pain was gone. Wow. So did you feel something come through you mm -mm. to inspire? Deal this gift in you? It's here 24 hours a day. Wow. Always. You know, you mentioned the laughing, and I have to tell you, <laughs> Beaumont and I do a, a seminar sometimes. Uh, she recovered from an injury a few years ago and is almost, you're 105 percent now, I think. I, I yeah. think so. <laughs> <laughs> but we do a thing, uh, laughter is healing, or laughter is jogging on the inside. And when you say laughter, it's just amazing how it releases endorphins and lifts mm -hmm. your spirits and people feel lighter and happier. It's so interesting that it's a part of your journey here. It is. And when people come for a session, I'm laughing. Still. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love it. Tell I jokes. Because <laughs> I can do this work because it's being channeled through me. Right. So I can talk the whole time. And people aren't thinking, think, they're thinking, well... I'm not getting anything. And then they go to stand up, and they can't stand up. Wow. It's really, it's really fabulous. And how is your pain? Oh, that left. That's all gone. Yes. So it's like second nature. It's just completely natural at yeah. this point, like sleeping or anything it else. Is. Wow. I mean, if I'm in a grocery store and somebody's in pain, I just work on them. Nice. It doesn't matter where I'm at. Wow. Do you feel that um, you've probably read about other people that can do this, or do you find everyone's journey is a little bit different from the next? Everyone. Everyone's experience is different. Yes. Wow. Everyone's method might be different, or however it comes to them is different. It's the way it's supposed to be. The way it's supposed to be. And yours is just by touch. No, I don't have to touch you. Oh. This um, man called me. I hadn't seen him in about two years, and he's up north of San Francisco. And he emailed me and said, I really need to work with you. So the next morning at 9 o'clock, this was last week, I said, do you have Skype? No. So I called him, put my phone 
on speaker and just did the work. And we're talking the whole time I'm doing this. And what his problem was, he had tinnitus, and it went from bad to worse. He said it was like banging. He emails me the next day. He didn't have it anymore. Oh, my gosh. And it was just strictly, we're all energy. Right, right. So, so you're like energy throwing energy. your energy out w without it even a physical, yeah. wow, conduit or anything. That's amazing. That is amazing. And um, do you think that people, uh, where could they go to learn more about this gift or your gift? I know you have a website. I have a website, uh -huh. but I see I can't teach a gift. No, I'm not teaching. No, no, no. But if people, if they want to learn more about it or be aware or <clears throat> get in touch with you, I mean, you know, you have a I website. Mean, I have Maxine a website. Ryan. They can contact me, but uh -huh. um, they need to follow their own intuition. Sure, right. That's your guide. So if you need to have a mentor or you need to read a book or go to classes, that's what you do. That's how you start. Do you do other kinds of healing besides physical? Oh, it's physical, mental, emotional, psychological, everything. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Do you find they have to tell you what's going on or you just know? I prefer they don't tell wow. me. Wow. Interesting. Because it's, they'll go, that's right where my pain is. And I don't know. Wow. That's awesome. We don't, we're speechless, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I'm like, this thing is slipping. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. okay. I know, I know, I know. I yeah. always have bad hair. <laughs> um, wow. What, um, I don't even, I, I don't know where to go from here because I want to know more about your experiences, I think, you They're know, as fabulous. would anybody. What is is your, there any other stories? Your future. What, what do you want to do with it next? Um, hundreds of people, hundreds, thousands yeah. of people at a time. Oh, at a time. Oh. A mass healing. Yeah. Uh, that's where it's headed. <clears throat> you come to our show. You can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we mean, perform in theaters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and a little special gift we have for you. <laughs> By the Stay way. In your seats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Trust me. I'm glad Zach. you're here for laughter because... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's all right. How's your back brain? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Exactly. Oh, that would be such a gift. That is a great show. <laughs> that's a great show, too. That would be willing... Yeah, it, Beaumont might need help later on ripping those eyelashes off her I face. Know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm foreseeing some pain there. <laughs> so Plus, my real lashes are gone. She put them on with super glue. I'm going to think that's not a good idea. Not, probably not. A, that's all I had. <laughs> that's all you had. Oh my some gosh. super glue duct tape. <laughs> Wow. So are there there's probably children with the gift and all ages and all backgrounds sure there are. just everywhere. Wow. I'm the only one I know that does like what I do. Oh. But I'm sure there are many out there. Wow. And I have little grandkids. And six, five, four, and three. And I've been working with them since they've been born. And I'll get a phone call. Grandma, my nose is running. Can you work on me? Nice. Do you have to do something in particular to summon anything? You just no. focus on it? Think it's about there. it? It's just I don't there. focus on anything. Wow. You just say, you're healed? No. Nothing. Well, I have a list of things I'd like. No. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, while you're here. I've got some tax issues. Yeah, I just, and, and, yeah, that's been hurting a lot. That's been hurting a lot. <laughs> some if debt. You do something some about debt. that. Yeah. Fix yeah. my debt, yeah. Find wow. me a new car. <laughs> oh, we are just so happy is it, that you were here today. And is it MaxineRyan.com, I, I right. believe, is mm -hmm. your website so they can mm -hmm. learn more about you. And I did go to the website, and there's a testimonials on there from oh, all okay. kinds of people from all different backgrounds. And all of their experiences are different. Totally different. And um, they're all grateful. They, I, they all finish with the immense they gratitude are. that they have. I, people leave, and they keep going, I love you. I love Aww. you. And it, it's just very rewarding Yeah, you know, to make a difference in someone's life. Totally. The L words, laughter and love. There mm -hmm. you go. L-O-L. Lift, lift in spirit. Love out loud. Love out loud. <laughs> after uh, making people laugh for a long period of time, they feel lighter after the show. It's right. almost like you feel like you're doing a service. Exactly. I just, that connection with the laughing, that's yeah. so interesting. It's very wow. important. Yeah. To not be just pulled into yourself. You know, right. Blocked you off. To, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. I think it does open you up. And if you take things a little, if you can see the irony or the humor in things, you know, because we you all go through so many similar things, yeah. and we think we're the, it's, you know, we're the only ones, you know. Well, what I tell people I do when they ask, I said, I remove 
the junk inside of you that you no longer need. Nice. And I have to say that when I do this, it comes out of me as a burp. Oh, oh. That You're the way, declutterer. I don't retain it. I pull it out and wow. it comes out. Wow. So I'm never, I don't ever pick well, it's up. It's good it those. comes out this end. I believe me, <laughs> oh. I'm grateful. <laughs> Although so the I'd laughter <laughs> would be, <laughs> this is for Ed. <laughs> this is for Ed. He's all healed. <laughs> so I, I do this, and then I tell them I recharge their batteries. Ah. So they can heal themselves. Yeah. Because, people have blocks, physical, emotional. They're the healers. Oh, nice. But by clearing out all this negativity, they're able to do it. Wow. And everybody has that possibility. Sure. Everybody. Sometimes mm-hmm. there's little curtains in front, and you just keep going through, going through, and all of a sudden, oh, there's what we're supposed to be looking at. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Thank you, Maxine. Thank, Thank you. Maxine. That was all right, yeah. wasn't it? That it was, was good. Fine. Was it fine and fun? Yeah. Okay, good. We feel you better. You can laugh about it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been Can you end all us morning. with a burp? Oh, good. No. <laughs> <laughs> you cleansed out the show. <laughs> you want me to work? <laughs> Yeah, you can work on all of this. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> While you're here, well, you're getting it. I feel it already. I feel I good. Know. I'm, I'm throwing these Kleenex away. <laughs> feel oh, the No, I feel it. Can get rid of it. Thank you so much you're quite welcome. for good sharing your, your wonderful work. gift with everyone. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hug across the table. Okay. <laughs> I just heard yes. a cough. We need yeah. we need you in the back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Maxine. Maxine thank Ryan. You. Healing com, on aisle nine. <laughs> Healing on aisle nine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. you can tell I just laugh all day. That's good. That. You should it's have the no lashes. Problems. I know. I know. I'm, I'm and we don't. I'm, laughing. I'm a mess. I'm all put oh. together. <laughs> we have I can't no even look. Problems. I can't even look. Thank you. Come back to the Joni Show. We'll be right back. Go Cast Network. You're listening to the Go Cast Network. Hey guys, this is Danny Trejo, and when I'm in Huntington Beach, I go to my favorite restaurant, The Second Floor. The Second Floor has my favorite food, and man, you have to see their colossal burger. You need a damn much ed they just to cut them. And they were just voted the best fusion art restaurant. Tattoo art from some of the biggest names like Jack Rudy and Rick Walters. Every Thursday night, art shows featuring legends to local artists come in. And you can meet them in person. You can buy the art right off the walls. And all sales go right to the artist. After 10 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, well-known DJs spinning an eclectic mix of music. And you got to check out their late night menu. Go visit them on the web. Check out their great menu, upcoming art shows, and your favorite DJ. Located at 126 Main Street, downtown Huntington Beach. Second floor. I'll see you there. Hey, it's Ralph Garman from Ted and the Joe Schmo Show. Please do me a personal favor. Listen to The Balancing Act on Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, only on the GoCast Network. Greg Buckstar Sides here for the GoCast Network. I'm Gary Garver, formerly of the Howard Stern Show, and I love the GoCast Network, Greg. It's awesome. I love the GoCast Network, too, and you know what I love about it is the partnerships we have, like with Ustream. I dig you, Stream. Me too. What a great place to watch live content like we do 30 shows a week live. Yeah, we're kicking ass here at the GoCast Network. And how can people check out our shows on Ustream? Well, what they can do is they can go to GoCastNetwork.com, click on the little live preview, boom, it opens right up. You're watching on GoCast and bonuses to Ustream because guess what? It's their little thing. We got some great shows here. We do. Check us out. GoCast Network. GoCast Network. Go Cast Network. Wow, that is a song I have not heard in some time. That's fantastic. I just, all right, go Beaumont. Get down with it's your the bad lashes. self. It's <laughs> <That's> the lashes. <laughs> Woo hoo! Welcome back to the Joni Show, live here on the GoCastNetwork.com. And with Beaumont Bacon, I'm Joni Fagan. We just had Maxine Ryan, who is a self restorer and self healer. Uh, Unbelievable. Her, she's fantastic. We had the adorable Lindsay Lewis 
uh, the accountant's daughter, who is 12, because the accountant was too busy during tax season and it came on. She's fantastic, an actress. She's going to go very far, I'm positive. And I grew back a new arm. I had lost an arm. Did you? I did, but you, Maxine. You had through. Yes. You, it's like a frog. I can't I, even tell. I know. Oh, it. my gosh. Oh, yeah. oh. No scarring, nothing. <laughs> That's amazing. By the way, you might hear is Tabitha Brawley. Chef, Hello. Chef to the oh. stars. She is a chef and a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think. I think I put too many. A uh, saboteur. A saboteur. Made me sound official. I saw ratatouille 150 it. times. I'm allowed to say ratatouille. Okay. <laughs> Restaurant too. <laughs> anyway, I don't have to say du jour. This is our guest du jour. Um, welcome, Tabitha Brawley. Thank She's you for having me. She's a chef, and you know we were talking because we have these play dates, where the kids come and you have vegan, vegetarian, kosher, no meat, all meat, paper only. I, I mean, I know. Paper, you know, the, all the different menus, and the kids are very picky, and there's allergies and everything. And so we wanted to ask you, what do you think now that it's Earth Month? We want the kids to eat healthy and healthier, maybe green. Can you sneak some vegetables into like a, perhaps a recipe somewhere? Smoothies. Smoothies. Always. Shredded carrot, zucchini, they won't even know. Really? And you put it in with what? Chocolate and ice cream? No, um, mango, orange juice, pineapple, and shredded carrots. <gasps> Kids will have no clue. They'll have no idea. I can no guarantee idea. it. You're or, right. Or um, fresh watermelon popsicles. Okay. Fresh watermelon. Pops. Yes. That, that kids, it won't make it to the children. I'll eat. Right? I, know. I was, I was I just know. thinking, I'm getting so like thirsty it. and hungry while you're talking. Yeah. And I'm it's like, summertime. Let mommy try this first. Yeah. <laughs> so I <laughs> highly <laughs> recommend <laughs> that always. And uh, you can uh, bring color into it, like uh, cauliflower. Have a play day, <gasps> dye it. Oh. Dye it random colors. Make it look like Easter. And oh. why would I dye cauliflower? Flower? Kids love color. Well, younger it's like, kids, it's yeah, true. but still Little, feed it to them. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh huh. Right. I'm That's with a you. Great it's idea. like eating toys, which we don't and kids recommend. love to do that. Eat so toys. make them edible. That's true. Or crayons. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, they eat the crayons. Right. So now that's a brilliant idea, especially for the younger kids. You put co like uh, you could put food coloring. Yep. With mm -hmm. cauliflower. Not red dye number. No. Two. No. Any no. Of the no. Red no. Dyes. You no. want to stay away for any of the red no. dyes. No. Right. Yeah. No red dyes. Okay. So, but natural. So yeah. you could probably have natural food coloring mm -hmm. even if you had like beets, beet juice. Exactly. Maybe. <gasps> Carrot juice. Carrot juice. Yeah. It's not going to make it to the table. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's not going to make it. I've already eaten it. <laughs> well, at least someone will be healthy then in the family. Exactly. You know? The kids will have crackers, but who's counting? <laughs> right. Who really cares? <laughs> Who wants pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but mama's not You're, you're all healthy. She's so vibrant. <laughs> Mom, yeah. um, well, on that wheatgrass. It's all hopped up on wheatgrass. Yeah, you can add wheatgrass, actually. That and is that's another up. good. Mm -hmm. And you could, it's green, so you could actually use that as a, the green dipping. Now we have different colors. It's sweet, sweet though. Thing. It's quite sweet. So if you put it in, yeah, if you put it in um, a smoothie and stuff huh. with the juice, they can't tell again. And if you put a big idea. straw in it, it looks very a ice cream straw. shop. Shruff. A fun straw, yes. perhaps with uh, glasses and, and eyelashes on it. There you go. I, I actually we have something. You're a healthy, smart model. Trending. And oh we're trending God. at the same time. Oh, my gosh. I know. We just, there's nothing we can't do. No. Look at this. She can't see, but... <laughs> But no one knew until you said that. No one knew. When she walks into the wall, we'll know. You can see her again makeup. Again and the... again and again. Yeah. I keep falling That's why down. we keep the, the room dark, because when she walks into the wall, the makeup, it's like an impression of oh, Beaumont. Yeah, and, and you're all, still there. And it's always all padded, with us. And it's a circular room, so I can't get lost. We don't let her out, actually. We just no. feed her mm, and keep her here. I graze. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Talk about grazing. Yes. Wheatgrass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've come full circle. But what else? What else? Like, um, now, like, uh, Healthy dishes with turkey and whatnot. I know that there's vegans and vegetarians and everything, but you could um, w tell me more things. Like lasagna, you could sneak things in there if they like the lasagna vegetables. Yeah, now um, with lasagna, you have to be careful though because kids don't like to see pasta with green things, you know? So, no, like, that's, that's why they true. that's why they don't eat um, veggie lasagna. It's because of the spinach. That is true. Mm -hmm. When my daughter was young, she would get pasta and butter and they'd have little green things. Mm -hmm. And they would not eat nope. with the green things. They, they send it right back. You're a chef, and yep. they send it back. They send it back. Wow. They sure do. Uh, pine nuts, though, because those have no oh, color to them. That's right. Yep, either bright colors or colorless. But if it's green, <clears throat> kids have a fear of it. Now, what about the children who need gluten-free? Oh, 
Mm, tricky. Gluten-free. You know, I really think that everyone should try to steer towards gluten-free, hmm. personally. What, um, what? I don't want to sound, it's not in my notes. What is gluten exactly? <laughs> is it like gluten the glue is what, of food? It, it never, binds breads. It is a binding. And, yeah, it's a okay. binding agent. Okay. And pasta has yeah. gluten in it. Right. That's why I always get wheat pasta, brown rice, oh. um, things like that. Instead of wondered. white rice or rice pilaf, do brown rice. Nice. I mean, rice is rice to a kid. That's as long true. as you tell them it's rice. Yeah. They'll eat it. And then make green eggs and ham. You could there even you take your brown rice and put some um, veggie broth with it. Oh, veggie broth. So it's more like a rice pilaf. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Then you get the veggie in there. Risotto. Yeah. Yes. Because mm-hmm. they love the mac and cheese. Ooh. But not fancy mac and cheese, right? And some fancy mac and cheese has the green stuff in it. Yeah, mm-hmm, you can't do that. And uh, craft just buy like a, a wheat noodle if you can't get away from the cheese sauce. Because then at least it's a little healthier than just the regular pasta. Great so what's idea. the favorite children's food that you make? Um, I would have to say deep fried zucchini potato chips. Yummy. Right. Mm-hmm. It won't make it to the table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have a little mini deep fryer, and you really thinly slice zucchini, and you just put you it in. You use a uh, mandolin? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, no egg, just water and then a little flour, and then deep fry it. I fry chicken. Wow. I don't use egg, just water, Do you and ever then use flour. duck fat? No. Oh, it's I, fantastic. I didn't even know ducks had fat. Okay. I didn't either. They, <laughs> right? they look so And it dry. doesn't it doesn't burn. All that flapping and swimming, you'd think they'd be more fit. And it doesn't smoke or anything, and it can get up to a really high temperature, and it's perfect for frying in, because I'll do sweet potato. Okay. Oh, yeah, chips. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Those are really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like mozzarella not quite as healthy, like, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make it to the table. <laughs> And my God, sorry, but <laughs> Beaumont's family is tiny. Now we yeah, know. right. <laughs> now we know why. They're just not eating. <laughs> not making it to the table. <laughs> but I ate everything. I am so healthy. And look at your skin. It's and beautiful. And look at my lashes. Oh she my actually gosh. uses gluten. Protein. The gluten is holding on those lashes. It's a binding. Uh... And see how well it works? I, I know. It just holds it everything, everything to well. <laughs> well, nice to meet you. <laughs> those are gluten-free. You frighten the chef right out of the kitchen. (laughs) Holy moly. (laughs) Holy moly. Tabitha, any other tips you'd like to leave us with today? This is great. Are there any great websites? I know you studied. What's your degree you studied at the... I studied at uh, Western Culinary Uh um, in Le Cordon Bleu in downtown Portland, actually. Wow, that's Mm -hmm. fantastic. And um, I'm currently a manager with the Marmalade Cafe. Nice. Yeah, so uh, you'll have to stop in and check that out. Where is the Marmalade? Um, They're all over Marmalade Cafe. did not it's, know. It's a Calabasas, it's a chain. Santa Barbara. It's, a chain. Yeah. it's El my f- it's like one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I'm there. Malibu. Yeah. <laughs> she won't, it take won't make it to the she table. Won't, take, won't make it to the table. <laughs> the kids won't be going, but Beaumont will be there. <laughs> That's right. Me and the eyelashes are gonna get hungry real soon. And everyone will notice you with those eyelashes. Darn too. I know. I know she's tickling me right here. Like every time she <laughs> blinks. Oh, oh, oh. It's like a little Johnny. butterfly kiss. <laughs> oh, stop, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look how friendly. I know. It's crazy We have fun. a history. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You can't even tell. <laughs> we have chemistry, they say. Oh, my gosh. I, you have to put these on before you go, yeah? Oh, for it's sure. Ner- it's nerd will, day here no, on the show. What? I oh. will look so smart. Look at this. Smarter. Now you're like a chemist chef. <laughs> it's like, welcome to the lab. Try my lasagna. <laughs> lasagna. 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 <laughs> I, I pronounce all of the, the letters. I shop at Target. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's wow. I Another expert. I know. Thank you, Tabitha Brawley, for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. It's Go been to a Marmalade pleasure. Cafe, right, for all of your mm-hmm. major food groups. <laughs> now, do you get, get your taxes delicious. done by that twelve-year-old, yeah, Lindsay? Oh exactly. my gosh, exactly. Lindsay, great taxes. And if Can anything's I have her? hurting, like you have to write a check to the IRS, <laughs> then Maxine comes in handy and write it off as a deduction. See how it all works together. It just combines all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> so I get the check again. Ow! Oh, here comes Maxine. It's so it's perfect. Anyway, I'm so happy you were here today. That's Tabitha. Brawley for your healthy food tricks, kind of, so the kids will eat the healthy food and kids not in even color. know. Kids in color. That's brilliant. Cauliflower, little healthy food diet. You're like the Benetton oh of the kitchen. <laughs>
Love it. We will be right back with a closing thoughts from The Joni Show. Thank you. You're listening to the GoCast Network. What's up, everybody? I'm Daryl Wright with the show The Right Turn on GoCast Network. Every Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Y'all know what it is. It's vodka and NASCAR. Alcoholism mixed with cars. How can we fail? Check us out. Every Monday, 6 p.m., GoCast Network. Peace. Greg Buckstar Sides here for the GoCast Network. I'm Gary Garver, formerly of the Howard Stern Show, and I love the GoCast Network, Greg. It's awesome. I love the GoCast Network, too, and you know what I love about it is the partnerships we have, like with Ustream. I dig Ustream. Me, too. What a great place to watch live content like we do 30 shows a week live. Yeah, we're kicking ass here at the GoCast Network, and how can people check out our shows on Ustream? Well, what they can do is they can go to GoCastNetwork.com, click on the little live preview, boom. It opens right up. You're watching on GoCast and bonuses to Ustream because guess what? It's their little thing. We got some great shows here. We do. Check us out. GoCast Network. GoCast Network. Hey, guys. This is Danny Trejo. And when I'm in Huntington Beach, I go to my favorite restaurant, the second floor. The second floor has my favorite food. And, man, you have to see their colossal burger. You need a damn much head they just to cut them. And they were just voted the best fusion art restaurant. Tattoo art from some of the biggest names like Jack Rudy and Rick Walter. Every Thursday night, art shows featuring legends to local artists come in. And you can meet them in person. You can buy the art right off the walls. And all sales go right to the artists. After 10 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, well-known DJs spinning an eclectic mix of music. And you've got to check out their late night menu. Go visit them on the web. Check out their great menu, upcoming art shows, and your favorite DJ. Located at 126 Main Street, downtown Huntington Beach. Second floor. I'll see you there. We're back on the GoCast Network. Just had Tabitha Brawley on, who works at the Marmalade Cafe and a chef, and she gave us some great tips about getting the healthy food in your food so your kids will eat it. And Beaumont said, that food will never make it to the table because you're going to eat it in the kitchen. That's right. And all bets are off. But that was a really fun show. It was a great show. Oh, we had the healer, uh, Maxine Ryan. We still have her. Oh, she's fantastic. And like Lindsay pr- Lewis and tips 12 year olds giving us uh, she had great tax Financial tips from her tips. moms. I know. It was amazing. And she's a millionaire. Oh, uh, she's going to be. We had a great show. If you want to uh, check in later on, it's at gocastnetwork.com. There's joniefagan.com. Three Blonde Moms, come see the show in Arizona, Phoenix on April 18th. Standuplive.com. There's a lot of dot-coms going on here today. So how about that? Ms. Beaumont Bacon, you have a great week, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.